As a full stack marketing strategist, one of the most important tools I use in my business is a full service SEO tool capable of doing SEO research, running competitive analysis, and performing technical site audits, as well as giving me access to a bunch of advanced analytics to inform my client's marketing strategy. Now, you've probably heard of tools like SEMrush or AREFs, as these are the two most popular options on the market. However, those tools, while they are fantastic and I have a lot of experience with them, they do come at a steep price point, starting in at just over $100 a month and quickly going up from there. But what if I told you there is an SEO tool that I've been using in my business for over three years at this point that is just as capable, however, it costs half as much. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what today's video is going to be all about. I'm going to be providing you with an honest overview of how I use SC ranking for all my client work. And this way, if you're in the market for a full service SEO tool, or perhaps you're just about to renew your subscription to one of those competitor SEO tools, and you're wondering if there are better, more affordable options out there, this video is going to provide you with everything you need to know and see if SC ranking could possibly work in your marketing workflow. What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent marketing strategist based in Denver, Colorado, working primarily with businesses on branding, web design, and digital marketing type of projects. And as part of that, I have a YouTube channel to provide insights to the broader marketing community while also showcasing some of my case studies, client works, vlogs, all that type of stuff. If you're at all interested, feel free to subscribe. Anyway, let's get into today's topic at hand, and that is going to be an overview on SC ranking. Feel free to jump into the screen share if you're so inclined, but First of all, I wanted to just give you a quick overview on why a full service SEO tool is important in the first place and why you should invest in it. First, having a full service SEO tool is going to allow all of your research and analytics and competitive type tools to be centralized within one place and then you can organize those by your client projects. So you do have to pay for all these different things, but I do recommend trying to find an all-in-one tool. I don't always recommend that type of stuff, but in this case I do. That way you have all the analytics and tools you need to build out a well-researched marketing strategy for your clients. And then as you begin executing on that strategy, being able to have access to analytics and other pieces of data that can inform the success of that strategy and allow you to adapt and pivot as needed. So ultimately, investing in a tool like this is going to allow you to plan out smarter, more effective marketing strategies for your clients. Even if you're a web designer or a developer and you don't think you need access to that full suite of SEO analytics, number one, it will be very helpful in the sales process because you'll be able to tell clients things they don't know about their website and you'll be able to sell them accordingly. But two, there's also a bunch of technical tools which we'll be shortly looking at here. For example, the technical site audit tool will look at a bunch of different metrics in terms of sites speed, performance, accessibility, technical infrastructure. So you're gonna get a great technical picture of the websites that you're working on for clients. And this is stuff that's not gonna be visible to the human eye. You need a dedicated technical audit tool and the SC ranking technical audit tool is fantastic. All right, last but not least, before we get into the screen share, there is a link in the description if you wanna learn more about SC ranking and potentially sign up for a subscription. Do note it is an affiliate link. This is the first time I have ever included an affiliate link in my channel. If you wanna take that with a grain of salt, you do you. Regardless, I've been using SE ranking for over three years now. I can totally vouch for it. I would be making the same type of video even if they didn't have an affiliate link. So it's only because I actually trust in the product and use it myself. And ultimately, it's just a way, if you like what I'm doing here and you want me to do more videos, using the affiliate link, if you're gonna be subscribing anyway, is a great way to support the channel. So now, without any further ado, let's go into the screen share and I'll show you how I use SE ranking in my day-to-day -day client work. 
All right, so now I'm logged into my SC ranking account. As you can see here, this is the dashboard, and we're just gonna be going over the tab section and running things by here. Again, this is just an overview of how I use the tool, so this is not a comprehensive review. There's many features I, in fact, do not even use, but otherwise, I think you're still gonna get a very solid understanding of how to use this in your marketing workflow. First of all, we have projects here. This is basically where you can organize by client, as you can see here. And then within that, there's a bunch of other tools that you can access from there as well. So one of the main things is to track rankings. So if I were to go into this one project, you can basically track the keywords that you want to track for, and then you can get a bunch of useful insights just at a glance, as you can see here. So this can be very helpful, although I do normally use the competitive research tool to track client keyword rankings because that gives you a list of all of the keywords that they're ranking for versus this keyword tool. You actually need to first enter in the keywords you want to track. So it's a bit of a manual process and you don't know all the keywords the site's going to be ranking for anyway. So that is one little confusing thing, but otherwise you can connect your analytics and traffic here. So you can get a good overview of that within SE ranking versus going into Google analytics. You can have competitor tracking. There are now AI results as well. So basically, just seeing how the website ranks in the search results. I guess I still need to set that up, but very helpful for clients as you can imagine here. Basically how I use this is just to organize it by different clients and then we have the website audit tool for example. You can monitor backlinks, you can also connect social media and even use this as a tool. Although again, with some of these all-in-one tools, it's like a jack of all trades, master of none. So I don't really use it for like social media scheduling because I'm usually just using it for the marketing analytics and the SEO research primarily. But again, you can have competitors here. One of the things I like about it the most is when it comes to competitive research. So if I just want to type in any URL, we'll use my agency website as an example here, you can get a whole overview of how many keywords your site is ranking for, the estimated organic traffic coming in per month, then how much this would cost if you were to pay for it via Google Ads, for example, and then a bunch of other metrics as well, as you can see here. You can track if your competitors are running paid ads. Going into the keyword rankings as a whole, this is where I usually pull this for client reports. So as you can see here, it also will let you know when there's been a Google algorithm update, which can be very helpful ultimately. But tons of insights here. You can track everything you need to track when it comes to SEO monitoring. And then you can get all the keyword rankings currently. You also have the ability to export this as a spreadsheet, which I'll often do. It can be very helpful indeed for just getting a very clear overview and concise picture of your SEO keyword rankings. I do find this to be fairly accurate overall, but before you get too excited, you probably do want to do a quick incognito search on Google and see if the pages are in fact ranking for the keywords they say they are. So like I said, you can do paid traffic research as well if any of your competitors are running ads. Of course, you can do keyword research too. So this is very helpful if you're looking to create local service pages, which I've talked about in the past on this channel for ranking for bottom of the funnel type keywords, or perhaps you're gonna be creating some content and you want to have some keywords that you want to optimize for. If we were gonna type in, for example, Denver Commercial Architects, we can change the search engine here. So, you know, what country we want to make sure that we're ranking for here, obviously in this case, America. Then you can get difficulty score out of zero to 100. The lower this being, the easier to be to rank for it. Then you can get the total search volume and then you can see how it's varied month to month. You can get the search intent, which is very helpful. You can get an overview of how much this would cost, estimated cost per click if you were going to run CPC type campaigns. And then just a bunch of other information where the competitors are currently ranking for in this keyword. And there's a bunch of other info related keywords for example as well here so these actually have a lot more search volume as you can see here so basically gives you a full window into the search viability of a specific term that you're trying to rank for which is huge you can also do bulk so if i wanted to go back here i could actually just keep typing in different keywords and get like a bulk analysis as well which can be very helpful and efficient then over time as you begin to build out keywords and save keywords, you can then have them listed here for different projects. So this can be very helpful in the early going doing keyword research and then just adding them to a list and then formulating your SEO plan from there. Speaking of an SEO plan, I do like how they have this marketing plan. So if you're new to SEO, this might be an even really good tool for you to check out because basically, and I don't really follow this as you can see because I already know what I'm doing, but if you were new to this and you were starting to offer SEO as a service to clients, you can basically get a whole checklist roadmap. And I've looked at this in the past, it is very solid for sure. So you can literally just follow this and really have a well dialed in SEO strategy and ensure that your client's websites are going to be 
very technically sound. So that is fantastic. Now, one of my favorite tools included in this SEO suite and one of the main things I find myself often coming back to is this site audit tool where basically you can run in any domain, even your competitors, and it'll do a full technical audit of the website. As you can see here, this is looking very good. Anything over like 80 is generally pretty solid. And then you can see a bunch of issues right at a glance, all this type of stuff where it really shines those in this issue report. So you can get a very detailed technical analysis of the website with a bunch of things here that you probably wouldn't even think of off the top of your head in terms of the technical health of the website. And then you can see, for example, here it's saying the title is too short, and then it's giving you the exact pages where it is advising you to perhaps add in some more characters to the SEO meta title. So sometimes these things are a little hit or miss. You got to go through it and put in your own human perspective, of course, and make sure that it's actually worth resolving some of these things. Now, this is very important because for all my clients, whether they're on a marketing retainer or a website management plan, is I will automatically run one of these technical scans on their website. And this way, instead of just reviewing it on the front end and seeing that it's in good shape, you actually get a detailed overview and you're going to be alerted if there are any major issues. So if you're working with clients on an ongoing basis and you're in charge of managing their website, I highly recommend you have some sort of site audit tool because it's just going to give you a bunch of insight into the technical performance and technical health of the website. And this, of course, is all very important for SEO as well because one of the main ranking factors in Google's algorithm as of late 2024 is the page speed of your website, and then the overall technical infrastructure, how quick it is to load, things of that nature. So I love this tool. This is one of my favorite tools within the SE ranking suite and couldn't recommend it enough if you're looking for a detailed site audit tool. Now let's go over to the content marketing tab. So there's actually some interesting content tools here. Now I don't really use SC ranking for this because you have to pay per article. I actually use this other tool called Neuron Writer for this, where basically you can get an overview of the keywords you want to rank for. So in this example, I want to rank for Boulder Marketing Agency back in the day when I was living there. And once you have the keyword you want to rank for, you can see the competition here. You can see what the content score is for all the different websites ranking for this on the first page of Google. And then you can use this in your analysis as you begin to actually write the content. And it'll essentially give you a list of keywords you want to include. And this just makes optimizing existing content on your website super simple. And you have a clear roadmap versus just guessing or you can, as you build out articles from scratch, especially if you're gonna be using ChatGPT, you can give it this list and tell it to include as many of these keywords as possible. So I just bring that up because basically SE Ranking has their own version of this tool. I honestly don't use it too much though because again, you'd have to pay extra and I'm already paying a lot of money for it so I don't really feel like it's worth it, especially with that Neuron Writer tool. I got it on that AppSumo website and it was like a lifetime deal so there's no reason for me to use it otherwise. However, if I did not have access to that Neuron Writer tool, I would probably be using it for all the same things we just looked at there. So it can be very helpful if you're creating organic blog content for clients or even video content, or you're going to be optimizing existing content on a large website, which I think is probably what it's going to be best for these days, then this is going to be a fantastic tool to have in your SEO arsenal. Another thing you can use it for is going to be local marketing. So I don't really do this too much because most of my clients have one location. This is really only managing brick and mortar type stores with multiple locations, for example. But as you can see, it has a pretty robust local marketing toolkit here. So this is basically for tracking things like the Google My Business profile, the business listings, you can track reviews all in one place here. You can get a lot of data and insights in here as well. This is just a demo we're looking at. But if this is something you think is going to be helpful for you, do know that SE Ranking does have a dedicated local marketing toolkit. So if you're managing a lot of local SEO listings, a lot of citations on different directory type websites, this is going to be something that's very helpful for you as well. Next, we'll go into the report builder here. So you can basically build out report templates and then just have that auto populate with the data here in SC Ranking. And then this could be very helpful if you're sending this over to a client, for example. So these were some like demo reports I was putting in back in the day, as you can see here. So basically you can build it out with the different sections here. And then over time, you can just have it populated here. Um, so this would be very helpful if you had like maybe a very technical type client. You can also like white label it so it doesn't say SE ranking, it has like your own brand here. But ultimately what I prefer to do to clients because I find this is like much too technical for the vast majority of clients 
I'm working with. Maybe if you're working hand in hand with your marketing director, it could be more helpful. But what I like to do instead, as I talked about on this channel, is just provide my clients with video reports. So I'll often go over the dashboard results here and just explain to clients what I'm seeing. In that case, I would go back to the competitive research tool here, type in a domain, we would look at the keywords, and I would just talk over all these different metrics versus just sending over a report where the client doesn't really understand what is going on. However, if your agency or consultancy is regularly providing those type of PDF reports to clients, you could templatize this and pull the new data automatically and it would be super simple to send those over to your clients. So that might be something you want to look into. And then finally, we have this agency pack over here. So I do not use it too much. A lot of this is pretty basic stuff. So if you wanted to have a white label interface going on here, if your clients are accessing these reports, you can customize all this type of stuff here to your brand. They also have this lead generator tool, which looks interesting. Basically, you can add this widget to your website and it will prompt people if they enter in their domain to get an overview of an SEO audit basically on their website and then you can collect leads from that. So it seems interesting. I've met to play around with it, but I never have. If you use SE ranking and you've actually gotten clients with this tool, let me know. I would love to hear it. But yeah, but otherwise that's a pretty solid overview of SE ranking and everything that is included. As you can see, I've been using this for a while. I'm on the legacy plan. I'll always go through the onboarding process to set up a new project when I take on a new client so that I could fill out the rankings, have the analytics handy, add your competitors, have the AI results tracker, which I've not played around with, but basically they're introducing aspects of this tool where you can track the rankings in those Google AI overviews. So that's very helpful as well, especially as search is changing a lot with these AI LLMs. So lots of interesting data in there. And then, yeah, you can basically have a whole checklist, your marketing account right there. Let's talk about the pricing plans here for a second. So basically there is a discount for Black Friday running until December 4th. They do this every year. So this is when I try to renew my plan. As you can see, it starts at $50 a month roughly. So this is one of the lowest investment levels for an SEO tool. Do you keep in mind that's only gonna give you access to five projects and 500 keywords to track. So you can get a good idea of what this plan is gonna be a good use case for. So if you're an individual, this could be helpful. If you're a small agency or a small team or just managing a lot of clients, you will have to be on the pro plan here. And as you add more keywords, the cost increase as well. And there's also a bunch of add-ons. So I would recommend you take a good look at this and you see if it's gonna be something that's going to be good for your needs because based on the add-ons you might need, there the cost will increase a lot more than just the base price plan. And you can calculate that here as well based on how many seats you need and etc. We're going on to some of the top competitors here. So SEM Rush, as you can see here, the year starting plan is more than double at $140 a month, essentially. And then even if you pay annually, it's still gonna be more than double. And it's gonna be a very small plan here as well with 500 keywords and five projects. And then there's probably gonna be some add-ons as well here for additional users, more like local type stuff here. So again, the cost could quickly spiral up here more. SEM Rush is actually what I came from before switching over to SE ranking about three years ago. We're going on to the pricing plans for ARES as well. You can see it starts at over $100 a month. And again, it's going to be for a fairly small plan. And then it quickly doubles basically if you want to go to the next tier up. So again, this is a hefty price point at just once a month. To have $129 for one of your tools is quite a bit, I would say. But then on a yearly basis, that's going to be like $1,500 right there. So it's a lot of money for sure. And that is why I switched to SEO ranking. I was skeptical at first, but overall, everything has been pretty solid. I can't really complain. And I do find that the analytics are fairly accurate for the most part. And then when you include the cost, I think it is a great value for what you're getting. You can go to their website and explore a bunch of different options. So if you're an agency, you can explore why it might be good for you. Yeah, and then you can go onto their features and check out a bunch of other stuff. You can go into more details about everything we talked about here in terms of the rank tracker, the website audit, the on-page SEO checker, which I didn't even mention. Basically, you can have a scan, a web, and it'll give you a full overview of optimizations and improvements you can make to improve it. So if you need a full SEO tool, a full SEO suite, highly recommend SE ranking. That's what I've been using for years now, and I have no plans to switch whatsoever. In fact, I'm going to try to lock in a Black Friday discount right after recording this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the video for today, giving you an honest overview of how I use SE ranking for all of my client work. So again, link in the description if you want to learn more and potentially subscribe to SC Ranking. It has the Bailey Canning seal of approval. You can take it to the bank. And otherwise, I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment. I do try to get back to any well-natured comments when I have the chance. 
Otherwise, definitely subscribe to my channel because like I said, I'm gonna be putting out videos all about the different tools I use in my business. And if you're a marketing professional or just a fellow entrepreneur, I think you're gonna get a lot of value out of that. And there's definitely a few tools out there that you could add to your workflow that are gonna revolutionize your workflow. So you definitely don't want to miss any of the videos I'm putting out. So hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you're so inclined, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, bye.